Do I have a favorite glue book? Well, actually, I have many favorite glue books. Today, I'm going to give you a tour of two of my absolute favorite glue books. I'm Marguerite. I love to do collage and I love to have a bunch of different kinds of glue books that I work in, adding different kinds of ephemera, different themes, subjects. Um, it's just kind of keeps things interesting when I switch up my projects. So today I wanted to show you two of my absolute favorites, um, kind of give you a tour of, of, of what the pages are like and the reasons why I chose um, some of the themes or the papers that go in those pages. So here in my shelves, I've got a couple of particular books that I want to share with you. The first one I want to show you is this Graded Lessons in English. I glued a bunch of pages together so that it's more sturdy. This first spread is, um, to me, it kind of reminds me of living in the countryside. I have some photos, or one black and white photo, two black and white photos, but then also some colored images wow. and um, a letter, just kind of giving everything more of an old world type of feel. The second page doesn't really have so much of a theme, but more of um, color, colors that are important. So I've got blues and I've got pinks that kind of stand out. It, they all work together to create um, the overall effect. I've got a lot of pages that are still blank, so maybe I will go in, maybe I won't. <laughs> um, this next spread is also full of pinks and blues. Um, these, those are just colors that st stood out. They just stand out, so it works really well with that Fine Arts Palace postcard from San Francisco. More blank pages, more pinks and blues. I, I don't know why I, I was so drawn to those colors, but there you go. <laughs> this spread is kind of, kind of gives me a, mm, not quite military, but some of it obviously is related to this photo of a pilot but there's also some plain a plain image there and some map kind of giving you the idea that um, this is uh, someone who is flying over long distances the next page hmm well i can see some purples that i really was trying to pull out along with the blue in that currency note I also really like the handwriting on the left hand side um, and I was just looking for pieces that would basically work together. Here the main thing was this postcard taken of a bunch of German soldiers uh, from World War I and so I have a currency note that's also German from around that age. Here I have this postcard on the right of a mission I believe, it looks like a mission. And then on the left so I have some birds. Uh, more map, more more neutral colors, and then a little bit of that signature um, across the postcard. On this spread, it's super colorful. There is a uh, trade card in the middle, and that kind of sets the tone for the color. Luckily, I was able to find that millinery uh, trade card also to make it work. This one is interesting because it has that postcard of, Chic of a Chicago um, hotel. Um, it was really messy when I got it and I didn't quite know what to do with it, so I covered up part of the top, but then I added another image on the right to kind of balance it all out. This one has reds that really stand out and that's basically what I was trying to do is use other red in other images to kind of make it all come together. This one has a sailing or a ocean theme. Um, so that's the main things that I was looking for. Colors were secondary on this one. Um, I don't have a, I don't know. These, for this one, I was just picking things that I thought might work. I, this one didn't, this is not my favorite page. I, I didn't really feel this one. 
This one, oh goodness. For some reason, war came to mind when I saw those ration stamps. In this spread, on the left, there is a postcard of uh, Palo Alto from Stanford University. So that, along with the pictures of the boys on the right, um, I thought that kind of had a university feeling toward it. And I think that's it. These are more blank pages, but the book itself has gotten quite thick. It's pretty bulky, and so I don't think that I can add uh, more to it. Now, this is something entirely different. I'm trying to show you here. It says, um, what does it say? It says valuable papers, which is kind of embossed into this cover. This is some kind of strange folio um, that I happened to find at a garage sale. And I thought that I would try and put some valuable papers inside and see if I could make a glue book out of it. So when I open up this clasp, on the top is a place, I guess, where you can put a business card, but I just have this ATC in there. Here's this strange kind of binding. It's It's got eyelets and a cord that that goes through the eyelets and holds uh, envelopes that also are punched on the top and on the bottom. So it's, it's a very unique binding, very unique, and I liked the idea of playing with it in some way. So the envelopes on the right are all different, and this one starts with life insurance. Um, and I was looking in general for quote-unquote valuable papers. What are valuable papers? Valuable papers are things having to do with finance. They are um, things like currency. They are bills. They are um, contracts. They are birth certificates or deeds. You know, anything kind of like legal um, or, you know, just just papers like that. And sometimes I find them in other languages or um, or not, or in English. <laughs> I like these forms. Some of them are in these pretty colors. There's green and um, red copies. And then I just took pieces of currency. Here's another envelope that is different and it says automobile insurance. And so of course I made sure to have a picture of a vintage car, a vintage picture of a car on it. Inside this on the envelope, I have, um, I don't know, some kind of memorandum. I guess this is in Italian, so I don't know quite what it is, <laughs> but it looks important. So it goes in the envelope. And here, I think this is a birth certificate. I found a bunch of birth certificates when I was at a antique mall in Salt Lake City. And so I was able to uh, just grab some things, interesting things um, to be able to put them in here. There's a little pocket um, from an envelope and so I have more currency in there. Five francs um, from the French bank. That's such a cool banknote along with that postcard. Inside here, I forget what I have. Another birth certificate and something in German. I don't know what this is, um, but it's aged very nicely and it has some great handwriting on it. So it is a keeper for to be placed in these envelopes. I really love this um, Hungarian banknote with the woman on it. I don't know who that is, but it's such a beautiful banknote. Now on this spread, I'm using some coins. These are made from paper. It's called Spielgeld, and they're little pieces of money. 
I really love currency. It's just so colorful, such unique combinations of color along with design. Um, yeah, they're just fascinating little pieces of, of, of ephemera. Another pocket with more currency in it. I also love pictures of buildings. Um, those old colored postcards are great for that. Here's some more of that Spielgeld, those little coins, along with um, a great envelope from a hotel in San Francisco that's got some really cool handwriting on it. More things in my last pocket. A, what is that, deed? I guess it's a property deed. And in addition, also some discharge papers. In the back side, I've got a really colorful postcard with a really cool postmark on it and another piece of currency along with a receipt. Here again, you can see that binding. You can see how the uh, cord goes through those eyelets and then just kind of hold it all together. So these are two of my favorite glue books. I hope you enjoyed looking through them with me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you the next time.